How Africa's richest man Aliko Dangote spends his billions. Hello, this flowers. Welcome to another informative video presented to you by this floor and thanks for watching. In this video, we shall examine how Africa's richest man, Aliko Dangote, spends his billions. Aliko Dangote is a Nigerian billionaire businessman who is the founder, chairman, and CEO of Dangote Group, an industrial conglomerate in Africa. As of 2020, his net worth fluctuates between $8 and $10 billion, making him the richest man in Africa, a position he has been occupying for a long time. He therefore is a member of the elite group of people who only fly private jets, cruise on yachts, and live the sky-high life. But then some of the members of this elite club of billionaires tend to live not the kind of life many expect them to live. And in this video, we shall examine how Africa's number one spends his billions. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. For more information on Aliko Dangote, we have a dedicated video on this channel on how Aliko Dangote became the richest black man in the world. So let's check it out by clicking the card above. So without any further delay, here is how Africa's richest man Aliko Dangote spends his billions. Number 1. Investment Aliko Dangote is known for his numerous business ventures which have been mostly successful over the years. Therefore, the businessman spent his money investing in Africa and around the world. He owns the largest sugar refinery in Africa and the third largest in the world, producing 800,000 tons of sugar annually. Dangote Group owns salt factories and flour mills and is a major importer of rice, fish, pasta, and fertilizer. He also spends on investments in real estate, banking, transport, textiles, oil, and gas. His company employs more than 11,000 people and is the largest industrial conglomerate in West Africa. Dangote has diversified into telecommunications and has started building 14,000 kilometers of optic fiber cables to supply the whole of Nigeria. In explaining his passion for investment, especially in Nigeria, he said, Let me tell you this, and I want to really emphasize it. Nothing is going to help Nigeria like Nigerians bringing back their money. If you give me $5 billion today, I will invest everything here in Nigeria. Let us put our heads together and work. Dangote is currently working on one of his greatest investment projects yet to come, a $14 billion oil refinery, which will be the biggest in Africa, and also one of the biggest in the world. The businessman is also talking of buying the English football team, Arsenal, his favorite football team. But that can only be possible after he completes his oil refinery project, Dangote said to David Rowe during an interview. Dangote has made it a point to invest not only in Nigeria, but also in other African countries, as well as continents. He has investments in Benin, Tanzania, Cameroon, Ghana, South Africa, Ethiopia, and Zambia. In 2017, he said he is investing $20 billion and $50 billion in the United States and Europe by 2025 in renewable energy and petrochemicals, by partnering with companies in US, Europe, and if possible Asia and Mexico. Well, given the kind of money he makes, it is only fair that he spreads his wings as far as they can go. Number 2. Philanthropy Africa's richest man has a soft heart for the less privileged ones in the world, and he disburses a good deal of time, resources, and caring to charity works. I'm going to try my best and give part of the money to charity. I'm working hard on it. I think from this year, I personally want to take philanthropy very seriously, Dangote said in 2014 and reiterated in a recent interview. He did not only take charity seriously as he started a foundation to care for the less privileged and to offer a hand in cases which call for it. I do not only want to be known as Africa's richest man, but the biggest philanthropist. I will continue to use my resources and my voice to help shape a better Nigeria and Africa as a whole, the businessman says. As a result of his efforts, Aliko Dangote started the Aliko Dangote Foundation, which is the private charitable foundation of the billionaire that works with state and national government and many highly reputable international and domestic charities, non-governmental organizations, and international agencies to advance its humanitarian agenda. He did not only end there, as he went further to have the Dangote Foundation, which is a corporate social responsibility arm of Dangote Group. 
The foundation is responsible for contributing over $100 million in charitable funds to several causes in Nigeria and Africa over the years with the president of the foundation as Alaji Aliko Dangote himself. In 2012, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation announced that it had entered into a strategic partnership with the Dangote Foundation to eradicate polio in Nigeria. It definitely is a comforting thing to know that Africa's number one does not only have a business mind, but also a kind heart. Number 3. Luxury Items Just like the rich and especially new money-rich people, such as Dangote, they tend to binge themselves in latest luxury items the world can offer. But Africa's number one seems to be taking a different approach to his counterparts of the new money league. Aliko Dangote says he has no time for luxury items because they are distractions, but we don't expect Africa's richest man to join us at our local shopping malls or markets when purchasing items befitting of his status. Thus, while tailored suits he is constantly seen in don't come cheap, neither does the Rolexes he is always spotted with. He is known to have dropped a pretty penny for his home, jet and yacht. According to All Africa, Dangote acquired a private jet in 2010, which cost him an estimated $45 million and has a $43 million yacht. One of his homes is estimated at a whooping $30 million, and not to talk of his luxury cars. The low-key billionaire might just be a low-key spender after all, as he doesn't only spend on himself, but also members of his family. On Saturday, March 24, 2018, Dangote held a lavish wedding reception for his beautiful daughter, Fatima, and her husband, Jamil Abubakar. The wedding reception held inside the conference center of the Eco Hotel and Suit and was a talk of the town with guests such as Bill Gates in attendance. Number 4. Political Lobbying Even though the businessman has been very hush-hush about his political powers on the continent, it is very evident for me to see how much political influence a man of his status has on the continent. The only public political spending made by Dangote was in 1999, during the PDP presidential fundraising dinner held at the Nikon Noga Hilton Hotel Abuja for the election of Chief Olusegun Obasanjo. Since then, he has kept it a private affair. According to a Nigerian news outlet, PM News, Dangote has been one of the highest contributors when it comes to fundraising for election campaigns in Nigeria. Besides, given how much investment stakes he has in most African countries and countries around the world, no one can debate his lobbying power in any country. There you have it, the explorers. That is how Africa's richest man, Aliko Dangote, spends his billions. Thanks for watching this video, and if you did enjoy, do well to give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.